Welcome Fishing World, I'm Bill Jodopoulos, the host of the Amfish Video Fishing Blog. Doing a blog today out here, we've out, been out here uh, early fall in Canada, the day kind of turned on us, it started nice and warm and turned into an overcast, cooler day. Uh, we were trolling for a muskie, I'll get my uh, friend Tom here to pan down at all the muskie baits we've been using. But I thought I'd take an opportunity here, fishing was a little slow, to do a blog on flipping. Very popular technique when it comes to slow presentation. Uh, there's a couple of really easy tips I can pass on and I'm going to pass on through this blog. I'm just using a creature bait here. Uh, one of the key things to do with flipping, always thumb your, your spool properly, but there's a couple of different ways. You can actually hold the line of, of that's tied on or hold your actual bait. Some people move, feel more comfortable having the bait rest in their hands. Other people, like I said, may use the line. Uh, just screw around with it yourselves, try it out, see what you like, see what you don't like. I'm just going to turn my boat here a little bit. So the intent of this again is a very slow presentation and it's a pendulum action with the wrist. It's not really aggressive. I'm just going to flip this out. So all you're basically doing is flipping it out with your wrist, letting it sink right down to the bottom. You close your spool, wait a few seconds, give it a pop, let it sink again, give it one more pop, no fish, no strikes, bring it back in, repeat that. Quick little tip here as well, another little tip. Usually helps if you actually have your bait leveled with where your reel is. Your hands are pretty much going to be side by side at that point, and again, it's just a little soft pendulum action. Flip the bait back out there. There'll be times where you want to pull out a little bit extra line. That's fine. Again, let it sink right down. Get your line semi-tight. Give it a pop. Reel in, give it another little pop, no strikes, bring it back into the boat. The second you do get a strike, set the hook and set the hook as quickly as you can. You don't want to give that fish too much time trying to figure out if that bait is real or not. Hope this tip helps, guys. See you next time.